Yeah, human meat. That's delicious. Delicious. Man, it would be interesting to know how that tastes, though. That would be interesting. I, I don't know. If I would be offered human meat... Let's say there's a guy that died and he really wanted to get eaten. Was it in in his will? Like, eat, eat me up. It's the ecological, you know, thing to do. I might actually taste that guy. You know, why not? It would be interesting. I don't think that's that's gonna happen ever, but... What do you think? Would you eat that guy? If it's really, like, in the, his will. Please eat me up. I want to save the planet. This is one way to get, like... You know... Nutrition. Without killing any animals. And, you know... I'm dead anyway, so... Why not? Never! You wouldn't. Okay. You wouldn't. Why not? Why not? Actually. What's the reason? Why wouldn't you eat the guy if he really... You know, that's the last... He really wants you to eat him. He's really like, please, do the world a favor and just eat me. Yeah, he said, he said, he's like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, why not? Just... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, it's not weird. What do you think, Harry Hall? Would you eat a guy that has in the, his testament just like, please, when I die... Make a big feast, you know, I have this good sauce in the fridge. You can, you know, put this sauce all over my body. Cook some, fry some, grill some, and just make, like, make it taste real good. And eat me up. Instead of having a funeral, just have a barbecue party. Why not? I think it's just a social construction. The whole thing that every, you know, it's something you shouldn't do. Even if someone wants you to do it. <laughs> yeah. It really depends on the sauce. Of course, of course. Yeah, the sauce. Yeah, sure. And the guy, he's totally, uh, you know, he doesn't have any di the diseases at all. He's very, very... He just died of a, let's say, he got hit by a car. Have you seen that movie with the airplane crash with the snow mantis or something and peeps started eating each other? If it was a choice between life and death, you might consider, but uh, not when it comes to a testament. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Hey, you know what? That movie is actually based on a true story. And that is a true story. That is actually true. I hope I'm not lying, but I'm, I'm being taught that that's the case. That that thing actually happened. Instead of going to have a barbecue, yeah, why not? That is something I could... Yeah, maybe I should put that in my will. <laughs> Tease my wife from the grave. She's like, oh my god. Even in his death, he's so annoying. Uh, I completely agree with Maze. It's a life and death situation, I would consider it. Okay, 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 sure. Uh, there will be plenty of people fed at my funeral. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, I think no matter what, who is dying, there's plenty of food. We humans, we're, you know, it's kind of insane to think of it, how many chickens we have to kill to feed people at a party. It's kind of a lot. If we eat people, it's less life being consumed. If we just measure, like, the whole damage in lives. My thing tastes of pure butter. No. No. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be extremely good. It's like marinated in beer, you know? Isn't that the way it is? A good marinade. It's always good. Marinated in the beer. Why beer? Hey, you should check out Harry Hall's uh, stream. Tune in on a Saturday. Tune in on a Saturday. It's very, very interesting. I like it. I like it. Yeah, these guys really... 
listened into our uh, discussion about eating human flesh, I think. Oh no, it sounds like they're inside, no? <laughs> no. I enjoy your stream anyways, for sure. Oh man, okay. How much do you give me if I survive this? No, I, I just, I give up. I give up. GG.